Oh, start seated, I think. So let's start seated. Cross your legs or stay in staff position either way. Put your sitting bones slightly behind you, crown toward the ceiling, activate your core, get it ribs toward your spine and up so you're lengthening through the spine, shoulders back and down. And don't forget to breathe. And just focus inward, finding your yoga perspective. We're gonna warm up the spine first. So pull your ribs back, chest forward, tuck your chin slightly, get that back rounding. And then inhale, pull your chest forward, ribs forward, and look up toward the ceiling, nice little back bend. And just feel your whole spine caving in as you go into the forward bend. And lengthening through the heart as you go into the back bend. And then come back up to neutral. And we'll do our side stretches, arm one hand to the floor, other arm at shoulder level palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulders. Slide straight to the thigh. Remember, no twisting. Keep both hip sitting bones down for this one. And you can look up toward your arm so you're not pushing your body forward, but looking lightly up. And then sliding back up, release that arm. Your cross side, switch your legs and we'll go the other way. Fingertips down, arm out at shoulder level, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder, slide to the other side. And again, just as far out as you want, feeling those ribs stretch apart and sitting bones both sinking down. And then again, slide back up and release. And we'll do a twist, so remember, Base of the spine, base of the skull, stretch apart so your bones can move. Bring one hand to the opposite knee and the other arm at shoulder level. Keep the shoulders down and the spine stretching apart. Exhale, follow your hand into the twist. Bring the hand down on the floor close to your body and stretch from the sitting bones up. Bring that back hip slightly up as you turn. Hips, ribs, shoulder deeper into your twist. So going as deeply as your spine wants to twist. Keep the head reaching up, keep breathing. And then again, hand at shoulder level, following it back to the center and release. And again, switch your legs so that we can twist the other direction. So hand to your knee, other arm out, stretch the spine apart for the twist and follow your hand all the way to the back. Bring your hand close to your body on the floor, stretch up, lift this back hip slightly so you can turn hips, ribs, and shoulder further into the twist. Take a breath, just relax into it. Head up, stretching the spine apart. Bring your hand back up, shoulder level, as you come back to the center and release. And then you can stay seated in your cross leg position or bring your legs out to the front. Bring one hand out and pull your wrist or hand down so your wrist gets a stretch on the back. Just warming up our wrists so we can go into cat and dog. And then pulling the fingers back Push the wrists out. And then circle your wrists a few times, each direction. And then shake it out. And if you're cross legged, switch your legs and we'll do the other wrist. So again, arm out at shoulder level, pull down on the hand, the wrist stretching across the back. Take a breath, just relaxing. And then pulling the fingers back, the heel of the palm out. And release and circle the wrist one way and the other. And shake it. And then reach up through the crown. Feel the core activated. 
Keep it activated. We're going to use that to support the spine as we get up into table position. So come on up onto your hands and knees. So remember, you can pad under your heels of your palms to lift the heel of the palm so that wrist doesn't bend quite as much. But it's really good wrist strengthener if you can do this. Just a little curl up. Spread your fingers out. Wrist, elbows, shoulders lined up. Knees under your hips, toes straight back. And keep that spine supported with those ribs up to support your lower back. Chest a little bit down toward your thumb so you're not hunching up in the upper back. Sitting bones one way, crown the other way. Stretch long through your spine. Nice straight spine. And then we'll go into the back bend. So drop your ribs. Lift your chest and face forward. And feel those shoulder blades slide down towards your hips. Lift the sitting bone slightly a little back, bend through the whole back of your body. Just feel all that lengthening through the front of your body. And keep stretching out through the spine, both directions, so that your spine keeps stretching too. And then sitting bones tucked down and forward. Forehead comes down toward the forward chin, slightly in toward your chest, coming up into that forward bend. So really arching up, ribs up, chin slightly in, tailbone tucking down and forward. And then inhale, come back to neutral. And remember, of course, circle your wrists anytime you need a little relief on those wrists. Take a moment and breathe. And again, lengthening through the spine. Take a thought between your shoulder blades and your neck on your spine. Pull that point down toward the floor. Lift the sitting bones. Just drop into a gentle upper body back there. Shoulder blades down towards your waist. Chest really dropping toward the floor. Feel that upper back fill a little bit more into the back thing. Breathe, relax. And then same point, push it up toward the ceiling. Tuck the sitting bones down, arch up in your cat, head toward the floor, and just feel that upper back in the back bend, or the core of the bend, rather. And then again, inhaling back into neutral spine. So take a moment, just noticing what your spine is telling you about where that circulation is increased, because where your attention goes tends to be where that circulation maximizes. So this time we're going to do it in the lower back. So someplace between your waist and hips, pick that spot, pull it down toward the floor. So nice deep back bend in that lower back, chest forward looking up again, whole body in a back bend, but really emphasizing that lower back here. And then push that same lower back point up. It won't be the highest point that goes up as you come into the forward bend, tucking your chin down and in, top of the head toward the floor. But imagine that's going really through that lower back up toward the ceiling. Take a breath. Relax. And again, come back to neutral. Remember, circle your wrists anytime you need to, or put some padding under those heels of your hands. And again, in straight back position, just feel your body where that circulation is maximized. And we're going to bring it to the midsection. So find your solar plexus, that mid between your ribs, above your navel, below the sternum point. Pull that solar plexus down toward the floor into the back bend, lifting your sitting bones, chest forward, crown high, really sinking through that midsection. Feel the back bend, let it maximize or minimize. And then push up with that solar plexus toward the ceiling, getting that middle back really stretching open in your front. Reaching high through that middle of your back, chin down and in, sitting bones down and forward. And then inhale, and again into neutral flat back position. And once again, just kind of notice how that circulation maximizes right there in the middle. And then sink back, hips toward your heels, 
circle your wrists both directions and come into child's pose just briefly for a stretch all through your spine. Take a breath, just relax. And then bring your hands back to the front, right in front of your shoulders, spread the fingers, plant the palms, really reach them way out. We're gonna go up into a down dog. So pivoting up, those hands will be a little bit in front of your shoulders this time. Tuck your toes under it, hip width apart. Slide back onto the base of your toes, not the toes themselves, lifting your knees just off the floor. And then straighten your knees, pushing your sitting bones straight up to the ceiling. And then sink your heels toward the floor. Notice that your arms are right next to you, and your heels are right next to your arms. Push your head toward your hands and your sitting bones up toward the corner of the ceiling behind you. So you're in a nice V-shaped position, pivoted at those hip joints at the top of your thighs. Nice straight back, straight legs as much as you can. Push the sitting bones up and back a little bit more. Shoulder blades toward your waist, head toward your hands. And don't forget to breathe. And then lift up onto the base of your toes, lifting your heels, drop your knees slowly to the floor. And again, slide those toes back, sink back into extended child's pose and circle your wrists again. And hands back next to your feet. Take a break in child's pose. Take a breath, just relax. And again, bringing your hands out to the front, pivot up, come into your table position. So wrist and elbows and shoulders lined up straight, knees under your hips, stretch back through your sitting bones, up through the crown. And again, keep that lower back supporting on the, with the ribs up towards your back. Slide your right foot back. We'll do a little balance here in table. So bring the right foot up to hip level and stretch out through the base of your toes. Opposite hand, left hand for me coming next to your ear, stretching out straight. Keep the hip bones both facing the floor, the shoulders level, so that you're all nice and stretched out straight. And then hand to the floor, knee to the mat. Circle your wrists anytime you need to as we get back into our table. And of course, we're going to balance the body and go the other way. So left foot back, up to hip level, stretch out through the base of your toes, and right arm to face forward next to your ear, stretch into the foot. Face the floor, hip bones even, shoulders even, stretch the fingers and toes away, and Keep that core active, supporting your spine. And again, exhale the hand down, the knee back to the floor, coming into table position. Check that your spine is supported. Circle your wrists if you need to, and then sinking hips back to your heels. Circle your wrists both directions. And once more, into a nice child's pose stretch. Take a breath and exhale. Again, hands to the front, slide them way forward, coming into your down dog starting position. So hands a little in front of your shoulders, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, tuck the toes, lift the knees, slide back onto the base of your toes, pull your chest toward your thighs, ears by your arms, Stretch those sitting bones straight up, sink the heels down toward the floor. If they don't need to get there, don't worry. So again, that nice V-shaped position, keep those ribs toward the spine so that you are supporting that low back, keeping everything nice and straight in your body. And then we're gonna lift the right leg up, stretch it toward the ceiling. So stretch out. So that your whole body is in a nice straight line, wrists, elbows, shoulders, hips, and foot. Stretch it out. 
keep both hip bones even so that they're still hips taken forward evenly toward the floor. And then bring that foot back down or right into place. Think evenly into both feet. Lift the sitting bones maybe a little bit more. Stretch the head and sitting bones away from each other. Heels down toward the floor. And we'll lift the other leg. So just bring it up, stretching out through the base of the toes. And again, a straight line from your wrists to your foot as you can make it. Keep the chest pulling back toward your leg. Keep both hips even so you're not lifting the hip. You're keeping it facing the floor. Stretch it out and slowly bring that foot back down into place. Even on both feet, stretch out through the sitting bones, out through the crown, ribs up for your spine support. Lift your toe or lift your heels and then onto the base of the toes. Drop your knees slowly to the floor. Slide the toes back, hips to your heels, and again, circle your wrists both directions and into child pose when you're ready. Take a breath there, just relaxing. Shoulders down, spine stretching the foot. And we're going to do another cat. So a little bit different, but similar. Hands to the front, shoulder width, coming back into your table position. Wrist elbows and shoulders lined up, knees right under your hips. Crown stretching away from your sitting bones, lifting those ribs for support on your low back. We're going to go into our balance again. So slide the right toes back up to hip level. A little roll in it at the top of the thigh, keeping the hips even. And the left arm straight next to your ear, stretching it. We're going to bend the knees so the foot goes up toward the ceiling. You can flex the heel as well and turn the palm or up toward the ceiling as well. And then we're going to go into a little back bend from there. So push the foot and the hand a little higher. Remember, personal practice only as far as your body wants to go. And then straighten the arm, straighten the leg, palm toward the floor, hand to the mat. Ribs up toward the spine, supporting it as you bring the knee back down, coming into table position. And again, circle the wrist as much as you need to. And we're going to balance the body and do the balance on the other side. So left foot out, keep the hip bones even, rolling at the top of the thigh to make sure everything faces the floor. And right arm out at ear level. Stretch it out, a roll in at the top of the thigh. So when you bend the foot up toward the ceiling, or the knee, and the foot up toward the ceiling, nice and straight, palm toward the ceiling, lift the foot and the hand into your back, and looking slightly forward. Breathe, maximize or minimize that back bend. And then bring the foot straight and the hand palm down straight next to your ear. Ribs are up supporting you through that spine, hand to the floor, knee back down, circle the wrist if you need to. And then once more, we'll sink into our child's pose and really give those wrists both a nice circle, both directions. And again, when you're ready, all the way into child's pose, just relaxing for another breath or two. And it's dog time. So bring those arms again, shoulder width apart, pivoting up, hands in front of your shoulders just a little so we can go up into our dim dogs. Knees hip width apart, toes. Hip with a foot, tuck them under, come on to the base of the toes, lifting the knees, bring your arms by your ears, stretch those sitting bones straight up, and the heels down toward the floor. Nice V shape, ribs up, supporting your spine so that lower back stays straight as well as the rest of your body. 
Stretch the head and spinning bones away. And the heel down toward the floor. Lift up through that sitting bone area. And we're going to again bring one foot up so and bring the right foot up. And then I'm going to bend the knee and bring the foot toward the back of me and look out under my arm. So a little twist through the whole body as you're in that position, just opening into your down dog position. Take a breath. Still pulling in the direction that you started pulling, pressing the hands and the sitting bones away, heel toward the floor. And then straighten things out, bringing both hip bones back, straighten that leg again, and bring it back into place. In your down dog, just straighten the weight onto both hands and feet evenly before you start getting ready to do the other side. So again, if you need to get out of it for a brief moment and work your wrist, feel free to do that. And then coming back into your down dog, we're going to do the other twist in our down dog. So again, the left foot comes up, stretch it out. And remember, if that's always enough, stay there. Otherwise, bring the foot behind you, looking out under the arm on the other side. So the whole body shifts slightly as you're in this position. The leg on the floor stays as straight as you can. Your arms are with elbows and shoulders straight back through your sitting bones still. Got a nice stretch through your spine so everything can twist. Take a breath, relax into it. And then again, hip bones facing even toward the floor, straighten your leg, bring it back down to the floor, into your down dog. Everything should be nice and straight now. Heels toward the floor, swing bones up and back, head toward your hands, legs supporting your spine. Lift your heels, slowly drop your knees to the floor. Sink back onto your heels, circle those wrists both directions. And again, into child's pose. Let your shoulders relax, your wrists relax, everything relax. Then inhaling, sit up on your heels, bring your legs all the way to the end of the neck. Circle your wrists a couple more times. Core active and roll slowly onto your back. I'm into your reclined integration, getting ready for our final twist before our relaxation. Hands, palms up, straight out from your shoulders, get those shoulders relaxing down. Sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees, heels in near your hips, feet flat. Press your back down, bring the feet up off the floor, knees right above your hips. And just a gentle twist to the side, but bring the knees over right at hip level. Turn your head toward the other arm and just relax into your twist. Remember, you can keep your feet on the floor or get some padding for support under your knees if you need that for your lower back twist. Turn your head on as much as your neck wants into that neck and upper back twist. And keep your shoulders down, shoulder blades down for that middle back twist. Keep breathing. Exhale attention and just letting that twist happen as much as your body wants to do. Deep breaths, just relaxing. And then heels towards your hips, roll onto your back, getting ready to twist to the other side. Shoulders down, hands, palms up, knees right above your hips, roll them toward the other side, toward the floor, and turn your head the other direction. And again, just breathe into it, relaxing on this side as much as your body wants to twist, adding what you need it for those knees or head turning just a little or more for that neck twist. Always shoulders down for that middle back twist. Keep breathing. Just 
Let your body release any tension lower, deeper into the chest whenever it's ready. Doing what's right for your body. And then, of course, heels towards your hips. Roll again onto your back. When you're ready, bring the feet to the floor. Slide them out. Bring your arms near your hips. Palms up. Shoulders down. Into the neck. Corpse position for our final relaxation today. One more time, you can circle those wrists before we release. So just relax your arms and hands. Release your shoulders. Relax your torso. Take a breath. Lower body softening and sinking as well. And just close your eyes and focus inward. Move your chin and jaw around. Let your face soften. Let your whole body just sink deep into that surface beneath you. Growing heavier as you exhale. Just let it go. As your body softens and sinks, let thoughts of your body release from your awareness. As those thoughts disappear, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, just let the thoughts drift away as easily as your breath. Allow your mind to float freely, releasing the content of the thoughts. Does your body just sink heavy and relax. Let it go. And allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. Focus inward. Find the peace within. Fill your mind with peace. Fill your body with peace. So just take moments being peace. If you want to keep relaxing longer today, feel free to do that. If it's time to return for the rest of your day, just activating your energy and awareness back to the mind to align with your breath. Begin moving your body gently however it feels good for you. And when you're ready for your family yoga part of appreciation, sitting by the toward your heels, heels up towards your hips, feet flat. Press your back down and draw your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hold. Let your body know you appreciate all its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. Do another little wrist circle because we use those a lot today. And then head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready. Whatever's the end of the day. Thanks for joining us.